Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early, man. It's 3.30 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. All right, let's talk about Donald Trump this morning. Uh, I thought long and hard about this this morning, and I, I came to the conclusion. I think, I'll explain this. Both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton should pay the same price for their mishandling of documents, and I'll explain that. The whole, because I, I, I'm, I'm the only reason I'm bringing this up because I know that the Trump supporters they're not gonna they're not gonna respond to anything about Donald Trump. They're just gonna say, "What about Hillary? What about Hunter Biden?" And that's why I'm saying this. All right, let's talk about let's talk about Donald Trump first. We all know the story, the top secret documents he brought home from being a president, being the president, and supposedly first his first excuse was that he declassified them before he brought them. Okay. So now there's a, a top secret, uh, a, a secret, not a top secret, a secret recording that's come out of him talking to a group of people. And it sounds like, I think it's at his bed minister golf course and he's in an office and he's holding up a top secret. He, he's, he's see in, in this recording, he's saying he's holding up top. He's actually saying that he's holding up he's, he's, he's ha he has top secret documents, documents that have not been declassified. He's actually saying this, and he's saying, you know, I don't know what to, we don't know what to do with it. I'm paraphrasing here. You know, it's too late now for me to declassify them. You know, they're top secret, and we have them here, and we don't know what to do with them. He, he, he's saying that, and he's talking about uh, General Miley, and supposedly General Miley gave him a bunch of reports uh, on different plans to invade Iran, and in this video, in this recording, he has a group of people, and he's bragging. He's saying, look, look at all these papers. He's holding up the papers and saying, look at, look at all. General Miley never met a war he didn't like or something like that. And then he says, well, you know, these are all top, you know, these, by the way, these are all top secret documents. And I, you know, they're not declassified. I, he says, I could have declassified them, but I did it. And now I have them. So I'm you know, kind of in a jam here. That's kind of what he's saying. And of course, they bring up Hillary and they all kind of, they all kind of snicker about uh, Anthony Weiner. Uh, the pervert. That's what they say. And they all get a little laugh out of it. They, they, they all sound like, to, they, they, they themselves sound like the other Trump supporters. All right, let's talk about this. So this recording has come out where he, he's just cold busted. You know, I, I did a video, not even in the last week, before this recording came out. And I said, you know, I, you could kind of tell by his personality. He's an arrogant narcissist. You know, and I was saying, I could, I could see this guy, Donald Trump, I could see him bringing home these documents and, and to brag about them, to wave them around, to show them to people. You know, like, look what I got. Look, I'm a big man. I said that a week ago. And then this recording comes out. And that's exactly what he was doing. You know, it, sometimes you could, you could tell, a, you know, it's not a far guess, guessing somebody's personality. Okay. So he had, of course, he comes out with an excuse right off the bat. He says, first off, he, you could tell he didn't know what to say. So he says, actually, this recording exonerates me. You know, and right off the bat, I think, you know, no, no, it does. It, it doesn't exonerate you at all. It actually makes, you know, it, it's actually heavy evidence, strong evidence against you. But his, his supporters will believe absolutely anything, even if it doesn't make any sense. And he knows this. So he says, you know, this actually exonerates me. When anybody with a lick of common sense that's not in a cult knows that, no, no, this doesn't, how, how does this exonerate you? You're saying you have, you know that you have these top secret documents, you know you shouldn't have them, and then the the Justice Department, or the they, they asked for them back, and then you lied and hid them and said you didn't have them, and they had to finally raid your house to get them back. And they are top secret. They're, they're plans to, to invade Iran. Stuff, you know, that should be top secrets that has implications for the whole country. Okay, so his latest excuse, the link will be for this right down below. His latest excuse is, this was all just bravado. I was just holding up papers. They, they were just, there were 25 different topics that were just laying on my desk. And I just waved them around and there was no top secret. It was just, I'll be honest, <laughs> it's just bravado. That's what he said. Again, this, you know, like what, like I said a week ago, you know, you know, now he's saying that, you know, these he was just waving these around. Okay, let's talk about this a little bit. I, I wanted, to, I wanted to kind of laugh at this because he's just grasping at straws. And, the, and the, the reason I didn't want to talk about this is because Trump supporters, 
there's the people like me and you and and most of you except for maybe two or three of you that are going to comment about 70 percent of the country that realize that this man should never be president again here's the thing when i talked when i at the beginning of the video and i said hillary and donald trump should be pay the same price i don't care if donald trump goes to jail i really don't he's a billionaire and he's going to get out of this even if he gets some kind of I wouldn't even call it a prison sentence. He's never going to get, go to prison. And I really don't care if he does. He's got billions of dollars. And it, it's just it's not going to change anything. The one thing that that does concern me that is, is that he never holds office again. You know, obviously, this man, besides for uh, uh, hundreds of other reasons, should not be president. Uh, you know, He's waving around top secret documents. He's, br he's bragging about them. He's showing them off like it's a trophy. And when I said, so I don't care if he goes to prison, but he should never, I, you know, the thing about him becoming president again scares the hell out of me. When I said, you know, Hillary and Trump should be pay the same price, Hillary ran for office and she mishandled documents, to, I think, to a much lesser degree. She used a phone. She talked to colleagues. And by the way, I think Trump did the same thing, too, with his phone right after he's, you know, he, for the when they were both running in 2016, he was saying, lock her up, you know, about the phone and the emails and all that. And then once he became president, he was using like a dozen different phones and doing the same exact thing. But that's neither here nor there. But this is when I, what I meant when I said they should be treated the same way. Hillary Clinton was denied the presidency, probably because of the whole email thing. And I believe this is what I, I'm talking about. I believe Donald Trump should be denied ever holding office again. So in that way, they, they're both being held accountable. They both dealt with classified documents in a, a sloppy manner. Let's just say that. Trump to a much bigger degree. And they both shouldn't be allowed another chance. Especially when, you know, especially with Donald Trump, where it's, he obviously hasn't learned any lesson from this. He just keeps lying about it. Um... I was hesitant to even make this video because I know there's going to be people that they're just going to say, well, what about Hillary? And they're not, they're not going to address the actual issue here that we have a, 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 an ex-president that brought home top secret documents, military plans, and then just shows them off to people that are at his parties or in his office, like trophies. Um, and Trump supporters won't even address this. The fact that this this man obviously should never be president. The first thing they'll say was, what about Hillary? What about Hunter Biden? This kind of reminded me of back when I was in addiction. There was a lot of people I was with in rehab. And they they when, when you brought up the subject of their addiction to hard drugs, they would say, well, you know, the, the people that urged them to go into rehab, like their parents or their wife or their uncle or whatever, well, they drink. You know, what about them? They have a couple of drinks a day. They have, they have this caffeine. They, they chain smoke and they drink. What about them? The what about is, you know, it doesn't address. That's what this all reminds me of with Trump supporters. You can't have a, 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 a conversation, you know, that, that the fact that Donald Trump should never, ever be allowed to hold the office of the president again, the way he mishandled and lied about and hid these top secret documents and the way that he, he paraded them around. And now that he's still lying about it. And they don't even want to talk about that. And I was hesitant to even make this video because I know Trump supporters are just going to say, well, what about Hillary? She should go to jail too. I don't, I don't care. I don't care if Hillary goes to jail. I don't think she should. I don't think, I don't think Trump should go to jail. But neither one of them should ever hold any office ever again. Let's just, let's, let's agree to agree on that. Hunter Biden. Let's talk about this. Okay, I hate talking about Hunter Biden. <laughs> I, think, I think he was in uh, a deep place in his addiction. He, he probably did stupid things with people from China. He pretty probably did. I did a, a variety of stupid things in my addiction. You know, your addiction takes control of you, and you will do anything to get more of, of what you're addicted to. And he probably did make some big mistakes. I don't, I don't believe that... Joe Biden had anything to do with this. I, I really don't. When when Hunter talks about the big guy, maybe he was talking about the president. But I, I don't I, I don't see this on any same level as Hillary and Donald Trump. And that's just my thoughts on it today. The links will be down below. So now 
Trump is saying that he was, it was just his exact words. It was just bravado. Those was not really top secret documents. You can see the story down below. Have a good Wednesday.